Over the last few mornings, Ireland AM has been following Victoria O'Brien as she undergoes laser eye surgery. She has worn glasses since aged 11, and as her sight has gotten progressively worse over the years, she was very keen to correct the situation. After a thorough consultation with Professor Michael O'Keefe of the Matter Private Eye Clinic, Victoria's left eye was operated on with a LASIK laser. Professor O'Keefe only operates on one eye at a time because of the risks of surgery. Just 24 hours after surgery, Victoria is back at the clinic to have her first post-operative appointment. So how has she gotten on? How was her last night? Great, no pain, okay. everything's right. fine. So I'm going to take off the shield now and we're going to see how well you can see, which is the, the bottom line in all of this. And, and if you have a look up at the screen in front of you with the chart there, how far can you get down there? Perfect. I can see right down to the bottom line. All right. So that's very good. So that's better than 2020. That's about nearly 6 over 3 or 6 over 4. So the bottom line is, is very good. And I will contrast that with your other eye, which hasn't been treated. And how is that? I can't see a thing, not even the first letter. So, so that's the contrast. So it's very, very good. So we'll get you to pop your chin on yeah. the microscope here. Okay. And that looks really good. Everything in order, it's no problem. It looks great, superb. So what we do now next is I just talked to you about the drops you're going to use mm. and the do's and don'ts. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to see you within the week to do your second eye. Now you need to use two sets of drops. You'll use each of them four times a day. One set of drops is an antibiotic drop and the other is an anti-inflammatory drop. And you'll use the two sets of drops for about a week, and then you'll stop the antibiotic and continue to use the anti-inflammatory drop. So I'm going to start to put, I'll put one set of drops in now, and then you can continue on with them yourself. Look way up to the ceiling for me. And that's it. And you can put, uh, you can put the two sets of drops in yourself. Now put them in again four times today and leave a little time between each drop. Okay. Most morning in, in any of them like this is follow-up treatment. Follow-up and, and she should have a follow-up for a year and maybe more if there's any problems arise. So the biggest part of this is follow-up and particularly be seen regularly in this clinic and have a place to come to if she has a problem. And at the end of a year, she should have a proper check done again like we did the first day. And in particular, we look at the back of her eye, look at Victoria's retina because people who are short-sighted get retinal problems, not because of the laser, but it's important that this be checked. So if you want to do a proper follow-up, she needs to have regular checks and needs to have a proper examination a year after the surgery. We've now got a good long-term follow-up for at least 12 years, and we haven't seen any long-term problems with people who've had laser done. People who are short-sighted get problems other than laser, so, but, but not, these are not made worse by laser. In this practice here, I retreat about 5% of people. And that's not a, a failure in many instances because people have uh, increased healing powers or because there's a natural myopic shift, a natural shift back to being short-sighted again. And many of these people can be successfully retreated. And in my experience, if you do well in the first six months or first year, first year you do well long-term. I think it's a magic operation for most people if it's done for the right reasons, for done in the proper fashion and have proper follow-up done. But again, I have to emphasize, it's not risk-free surgery and not everybody does as well. Since filming ceased, Victoria has had laser surgery on her right eye and now has perfect vision and so has binned her glasses.